Amadil Kumar, let me thank all the viewers and participants of our WhatsApp group for contributing in providing solutions and problems for the whole group and making it very interesting. Here is an excellent question which seems to have come in 2014 in SSC CGL test paper. It's a multiple choice question based in geometry. These are the four choices. The question here is, in triangle ABC, angle C is an obtuse angle. The bisectors of exterior angle at A and B meet BC and AC produced at D and E respectively. If AB equals to AD equals to BE, then angle ACB is equal to what? I think the challenge here is to sketch the diagram itself, right? So let's make an attempt to sketch the diagram. Then we are going to solve it. So we have an obtuse angle at C, right? So, so let me just uh, sketch a triangle here. And let's say this is an obtuse angle at C, right? And here we have angle A, B, and C. So let's just connect them. Okay. So we get our triangle ABC. Okay, now here we have uh, C, A and B. The bisectors of exterior angles at A and B meet BC and AC produced at D and E. It means you have to extend these sides, right? It makes sense. Exterior angle at A is this angle, right? Now if I have to draw a bisector at this, then it will be like this, correct? So that becomes the bisector. Now, as you can see, I need to extend this line further to get the point D where it meets. Correct? So we get our first point. And now we have to bisect this angle, exterior angle. So this exterior angle, let me extend this. Now we have an exterior angle here. Now the bisector at this exterior angle will be meeting that line, correct? Okay, so let's bisect. And this point is E for us. Is that clear to you? This point is E for us. Another thing which is given to us is AB is equal to A to D and that is also equal to B to E. So, of course, this diagram is not to the scale. However, you understand what we're trying to do, right? What we need to figure out is this angle C, right? This is X. We don't know. We need to figure out this angle C. Perfect. So that is the situation. I hope now you can pause the video and answer the question. Okay, let's begin. What we can do here is since these two are given angles equal, we can look into the triangle ABD, right? So let's look into the triangle ABD. It's an isosceles, right? So if this angle is, let's say, beta at B, that will also be beta. Okay. So we got these two angles as beta. Now also, if I look at the other triangle, which is uh, triangle ABE, right? So, uh, triangle ABE. Here, also, this is an isosceles triangle. Right? Now, these angles at the base are equal. Let's call them as alpha. Okay. So, these are your other angles. So, what we need nearly figure out that if we solve for these two triangles separately, we have two unknowns and two equations. We can get the value of these and then we can find what x is, right? So clearly from here x is equal to 180 minus minus alpha plus beta. So I hope you understand the approach, right? So that is our approach. Okay, now what can we do? So this is a straight line we don't know what this angle is, but this is vertically opposite angle. It should be equal to that angle. These two are also equal, okay, since that is a bisector. Now, how much is 
each one of this? Well, total is 180. So we can call this angle as equal to 180 minus alpha. And that is total, right? And if I divide this by 2, I get each one of them. Perfect. Which is also equal to this angle. Correct. Now, some of these four angles should be 180 degrees. So, in this particular triangle, we have beta plus beta. Let me write down beta plus beta plus alpha plus this angle, one of them, right, which is this opposite angle, 180 minus alpha. It's all in degrees. All sum should be 180 degrees. Is that clear to you? Correct? So, that should help us. Let's multiply by 2. So, we get 2 beta plus 2 beta plus 2 alpha plus 180 minus alpha equals to 360 degrees. Clear. So, we have 4 beta and this is 2 alpha minus alpha is plus alpha equals to 360 minus 80 which is 180. 80 degrees. So we get one equation. We'll call this as our equation number one. Now let's work on the other triangle, this big one. Here again, what should be this angle? This angle here is 180 minus beta, right, divided by 2, half, right, so since these two are equal. That makes sense, right? So let's add these angles in this triangle. So we have alpha plus alpha plus beta plus this, which is 180 minus beta by 2, is also equal to 180 degrees. Clear? So that gives you 4 alpha plus 2 beta plus 180 minus beta equals to 360. Or 4 alpha, 2 beta minus beta is beta equals to 360 minus 180, which is 180 degrees. We'll call this as our equation number 2. Now, what we really need to find is 180 minus alpha plus beta. Do you see that? So, I don't really have to find alpha and beta separately. What I can do here, and that is, I think, key in the solution, is that I can add equation 1 and 2. So if I do that, these two equations, let's uh, highlight our equations, right? So if we add these two equations, what do we get? We get 4 alpha plus beta plus 4 beta plus alpha equals to 180 plus 180, correct? Correct. So that means we get 5 times alpha plus 5 times beta equals to 180 times 2, which is 360. Right? Now, so that gives you an idea of what alpha and beta is. Right? So we can now take it to this side. So alpha plus beta equals to 360 degrees divided by 5. That goes 7 times and 20. 7 times is 35 and 10, 72 degrees, correct? So alpha plus beta is 72 degrees, perfect? Now we can find what x is. x is 180 degrees minus alpha plus beta, which is 180 degrees minus 72 degrees, which is equal to 108 degrees. So this option, 108 degrees, is the correct answer does make sense to you, right? So, so that is how we could actually solve this question. Perfect. So I'd like you to go through the diagram first, right? Then you understand how we have used uh, external angles, their bisectors, to find the other angle. And then we kind of added them all. Properties of triangle, their sum is 180 degrees. We use these properties twice to get two different equations, and then we don't have to solve for alpha and beta. You can save your time here. So you just add them up, get what alpha plus beta is, and then take away that value from 180 
to solve for this triangle, which is triangle ABC, right? So in triangle ABC, we know what X is. X is 180 minus alpha plus beta. And that's how we get our answer. Perfect. Let me thank you once again for posting this brilliant question. And I hope its solution helps. Thanks for your time and all the best.